Hi guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today we're going to be playing with the new collection from Scrappy Tales. This actually came out last month and I've already done one card video using these pretty butterflies. But today I want to use... There's so much in here. Um, I am... Yeah, I'm loving everything. Anyway, um, I'm going to use this one. This is a stencil with a coordinating die set so that I think is going to be kind of fun so that's what I plan on playing with today uh, let me go ahead and get the rest of the stuff out of the way and then we can open this one up and try out these new stencils so this is what I'm going to be using today now I have already attempted and failed failed miserably um to do this once and that's because I was using the wrong colors the colors you've got to get the colors right um don't use brown by mistake I did and didn't like it so what I'm gonna do this time first off I've got some mint tape so that I can block off the rest of my card I want to be able to do more than one of these butterflies on my on this piece of cardstock and then I'm gonna be die cutting it out so I need to make sure that I don't get any you know any ink where I don't want it right so here we have our pretty butterfly. I think I'm going to go with... I am really, really leaning towards the yellow. Let's go with some yellow. And before I do anything with this brush, because it looks like it's got a little green on there, I'm going to make sure that that green is not anything that's going to transfer. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to take out some Color Hive English Mustard. And I'm going to go on here gently. I don't really need a lot of color. This is kind of the under layer. And all of the others are going to mix in with it. And I do want it to stay kind of bright. Does that tell you that I went too strong last time I tried this? So yeah, don't put down too much ink unless you want it to be a darker color of that shade. Or shade of that color. Words. Anywho. So I'm starting off with that one. Next, I'm going to come in with some telephone box, and actually, I think I'm going to do the telephone box for pretty much the rest of the pieces. Okay, I'm putting down my mint tape again to make sure to block everything off, and these line up real nicely. And this should make this color a little bit orange. Now, the telephone box is a dark red, so it does look kind of deep and dark almost a, I don't know, a burnt orange is what we're having here with that yellow. So that's going to be there. Okay. And then take those up and shift our stencil again. So that is looking decent so far. Okay. Okay. So we've got a couple of other pieces and I think we could do multiple. Ooh, that kind of looks cool think I want to do this one see we can do this and it would have one look but I'm thinking we can make different varieties of butterflies just depending on which pieces we decide to add and we don't have to add all of them and I think I'm gonna go over this one with some debating over purple and and blue because purple with red will just make a darker purple however purple over orange is gonna turn brown don't know that I want that so let's go with some blue instead I mean I know that it's going to turn everything a little bit green but I think that'll still be okay be kind of a minty color and this we probably could have used a smaller brush to get in those little pieces a little bit better okay let's take a look so that looks kind of cool I think I want to go ahead and put this outline bit, the part that's on the edges. I'm going to go over again with some blue. I'm also trying to make sure that I'm not touching the paper with anything that has got any ink on it. Okay, that looks pretty decent, but I think I do want a little bit more color on there. So I think I am actually going to go in with another color with this other piece here, this kind of an, an X. 
Oh, and that's neat. Uh, it looks like some of the pieces from that one bit are basically supposed to go centered up right in the middle of these pieces. Okay, and then we've got one more. Okay, I'm gonna use some Nouveau Glimmer Paste. And this is just going in those little bitty spots. So it's gonna add just a little bit of shimmer to our card. And I do have to clean this off right away. Because one thing I have noticed is that sometimes paste and such that have glitter in them can scratch up your stencil so you want to clean it off right away so you don't have to scrub it and and that sort of thing so let's take a look at this and see how it is so that is going to be cute so I went ahead and did some coloring on a couple more butterflies I think these turned out pretty and I am using some more of that Nouveau glimmer paste on this too which means before i can die cut anything out i have to wait for the glimmer paste to dry so since i'm waiting anyway i figured i'll go ahead and make a couple of sentiments um first i'm going to use off use some party dress just because at least for the first one go direct to paper And because of, yeah, I kind of forgot that I had the new glimmer paste, haven't used it in a bit. Since I'm doing that, I am going to also add some glimmer paste down to my paper too and let that dry. So I'm basically creating some pink glitter cardstock. And the glimmer paste I'm using, I believe, is Moonstone. Yes, it's moonstone, so it's kind of, it's got an iridescent shine to it. And this is going to be so pretty once it's dry. Okay, so that looks like it's dry already. None of it's flaking off, so that looks good. I'm going to go ahead and tape this in place right over my image. Hoping it doesn't mess up anything with the glimmer paste, but you know what? If it does, I can always add a little bit more. And let's see how that turns out. I'm wondering if I should have done the die cutting first. Don't know. And that looks fabulous. And it pressed my um, it pressed my glimmer paste further into the cardstock so that it's not going to brush off at all. It, it removed any dimension from it, but that I think is going to look so pretty. I love it. Okay. <laughs> so while we are waiting for the glimmer panel to to finish drying I'm going to go ahead and cut out one of the hello and I'm leaving this this die basically all one piece and then I am just going to do kind of some inlay with that pretty pink glimmer paste so we've got the shadow and we've got the letters on the inside and I'm impatient so I'm going to start doing a little bit of heating and see if I can speed up the process a little bit Okay, now we're going to give this one a try. I have no idea how well this die is going to cut through that glimmer paste. And again, it did press all of that glitter right into the paper, so that is kind of cool. Okay, I can already tell because some of the glitter paste has, has stuck to the die that it wasn't completely dry, but it was close. And I definitely like that, and I think I like the shadow being 
being glittery better than having the inside done. So I am going to pop that hello out of the shadow and we're going to add it to our We're going to add the white word to the glitter shadow. Okay, and then to get everything on there, what I'm going to use this time, I don't use it that much. I just got it actually not too long ago, but I'm going to use some artist tack on the back of my letters. This is going to add just a little bit of adhesive to the back, these little bitty dots. That feels like it's pretty got, got, got still has sticky on it. So I'm burnishing that down. And if it doesn't have enough sticky on the back, I'll move it around and pick up some more in another spot. I can already tell there's some pieces that don't have quite enough. Okay, so that should be about right. And then I'm going to lay that right on top. that looks so cool we've also got in this collection some pretty papers so let's see what we have in here that'll go well so everything is dry and everything is put together so now I'm gonna start assembling the cards I'm using some ad tech dot glue runner and some pattern paper out of the pattern paper packs from Scrappy Tales. These are just so pretty. And this one I picked because I figured it would match the, the glittery paper that I made. I'm also going to use some foam on the back of this. I do have some of my regular scotch foam tape that I use all the time. So I'm wanting to make sure that I don't show any of it around my sentiment. So I'm going to be cutting little pieces and using those behind the little hello. Okay, so we're gonna go perfect right in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that sentiment down. We've got that little bit of dimension there from the foam tape. And then we're gonna put this little guy down, grabbing out my art glitter glue so I can hear the middle of the butterfly down. Okay, and this one we're going to need to hold it a little bit to give it a chance to hold. Um, our glitter glue does grab pretty quick, but it does still need a second. And that's going to finish up that card. I did do the same thing with some other colors and got a couple more butterflies and a sentiment. So I'm going to go ahead and put that card together kind of the same way. And there we go. We've got two really lovely little butterfly hello cards. So that's going to finish up this video using the new collections from Scrappy Tales Crafts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to check out this playlist to see some more videos where I'm using Scrappy Tales products. You guys have a wonderful day. I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.